I promise you that wasn't planned. What's up everyone and thank you for stopping by the channel. Today's project is this Toro lawnmower and the problem was supposed to be about a starting problem but I guess we're going to be replacing the rope instead. Let's take a good look at it, find out what's wrong with it and hopefully we can fix it. Now in this video we try and repair this mower, however it may not be the exact repair that you need to make to yours. We'll explore other options later in the video. So the original plan was to figure out why this Toro commercial mower wouldn't start, but I guess we can start with the rope today. Now I replaced the rope on this mower a couple of years ago, but it's beginning to fray due to a worn eyelet on the recoil cover. I also wasn't happy with the rope I used, so this time I'm going to use a very heavy duty rope instead. Now the first thing I need to do is remove the recoil assembly, then remove what's left of the old rope. For those who didn't notice, the recoil assembly is slightly clocked so that the rope won't catch the worn part of the eyelet. Now they don't sell the eyelet by itself so you have to buy a whole new cage and unfortunately the cost of the new cage is very expensive for this discontinued mower. So this is the rope from Stens that I'm going to be using, and I ordered it from Amazon, but it's also on eBay. Now I think the original rope size was probably a number 5.5, but I'm going to be using the number 6 rope instead. Now I won't be able to put as much rope on the pulley, but I don't want this rope to break on me anytime soon. Now this mower has a lot of miles on it and you can tell it's definitely down on compression but it's still a very capable mower especially because the deck and the transmission have proven themselves to be very durable. Now you don't need to buy a commercial unit for residential use but if you do and do some yearly maintenance it will last you a very long time. Although I have seen some residential mowers last many years if properly maintained as well. Unfortunately, since the rope is very thick, I'm going to have a hard time turning the pulley, so I had to get a little creative. Now, the pulley is made out of plastic, so I had to notch it so the rope would clear the cage. I'm going to start with about four turns and see if the rope will bunch up. If it doesn't bunch up, I'll put another turn on the spring. The only downside to using a commercial mower, in my opinion, is the weight. I'm not sure how heavy this thing is, but if I had to guess, it's probably over 65 pounds. Oh, and the other downside is the price. Now, even used, these are very expensive, but then again, if you were to buy a brand new commercial unit now, just expect to pay well over $1,000. So I can't put any more rope on the pulley, and if I count how many turns I have on the spring, I say it's a little over four turns, which I think is more than enough. If it's not, I'm going to have to move to the smaller rope. Unfortunately, to find out, I have to put the recoil back onto the engine, pull the rope, and make sure there's enough for a full pull. Now another reason why the rope would break is that it's getting tangled on the recoil pulley itself. Now this is rare, but I've seen it happen. The fix would be to change the rope to a different type or a different size line in this case and clean and maybe even lubricate the recoil spring. Now I have more rope than I need for the handle so more than likely I'll have to retie a new knot once I see how much slack there is after I give it a slow pull. Now after pulling the rope till it stops I'm glad to report there's plenty of rope for a decent pull but there is some slack in the line so I'll retie another knot at the handle. After that I'll try a couple of real pulls and try starting it. Now I do have a couple ideas why this engine is having a tough time starting but diagnosing it was really tough this time. As you can see, it did exactly the same thing like earlier, except this time the rope didn't break. Now in the next video, I'm going to try to figure out the problem and hopefully I can get this workhorse back to mowing. So my question is, would you have used the regular size rope 
Or would you have used a larger size like I did? Did I make a mistake in choosing to upsize it? Now, I know how I feel about it, but I'd like to know what your thoughts are. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time here. Please feel free to ask any questions, and I hope to see you in my next video.